forte il ricordo di quando bambini la gioia era dentro di noi e tutti quanti Well hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven it doesn't get a whole lot better than this the conditions are utopian the sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated truly this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd they know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature this is the lineup we've been given how do you read it Jim well the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack with many shaky defenses about getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply so playing two strikers can um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's it's unfair. Any system can... Yeah, he's fouled him there. Tonelli. And it's played forward. Real chance! it out he's got away that's good defending very good defending Tonelli still goalless at the moment Tonelli drives it towards the front tries to get it forward quickly A really good feat from him. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. He's making good use of his strength. That has a hit! He's delivered all right! And it's Empoli who take the lead. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement.
Empoli get themselves into the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. That'll be a throw. Forward it goes. And we've reached half time. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. And if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. If we're just back from your break, we've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. So, 45 minutes to turn it round. awarded a free kick. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Down by a goal, needing to go up a gear. That's how it looks here. It's come through. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Keeper sends it forward. We sit high. That's offside. Yes, it is. Caldara. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, at the moment, their chances of getting back in contention look slim. They're not exerting enough pressure. Simple as that. Shapes to shoot! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Tonelli drives it forward. Luperto. Out for a throw. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. It is looking like the end. If anything's going to happen, it's got to happen now. They need something heroic now, or a lucky break, or a kind refereeing decision. Anything. Empoli are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Luperto. Time added on will be two minutes. 
hoists it forward. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? It's just a bad day at the office, Peter. They look...